So I've been seeing the girls do this cute little look where they do the curly hair and it's not like wet curly but it's also not like too dry kinky curly it's somewhere right in the middle and I think I've mastered the look. Today I've teamed up with Love Me Hair to bring you this beautiful highlight afro curl glueless 5x5 closure undetectable HD lace wig. She has 4C edges and I'm going to show you how I install her and style her from start to finish. So this is a look at the wig. As I mentioned, this is a closure wig and it is a 5x5. They've already bleached the knots and also they included this adjustable elastic band. This way you'll get a nice snug glueless fit. I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. You guys already know the drill. I put the elastic band down first and then I secured the wig. Now I was a little bit nervous because she's short, she's curly. And of course, you guys already seen the intro. I'm going to make her look super fire. Here's a close-up of those 4C edges straight out of the box. They're not too dense. Sometimes you'll get 4C edges and they're super, super, super thick. So they've already pre-plucked them for me. And then you guys can see when I pull the hair back, they look nice and pre-plucked. So if you want to like wax them down and like push them all back, it's not um, too dense or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. And you guys can see this one fits on the head pretty snug. I'm going to go ahead and just pull those edges forward and now you can get an even better look at how beautiful those edges are. They blend with the texture of the hair flawlessly. Um, sometimes, again, you'll get these 4C edges and they'll be a completely different texture than the wig. And I love the fact that this is literally the same texture. So I didn't necessarily know if I wanted to thin it out per se. It looked like it didn't need to be thinned. Uh, out so I did just shorten them and of course I didn't want a blunt cut so I did use an eyebrow razor for that next I'm going to use some mousse and this one is from Lala Body and I apply a generous amount and this is how I go ahead and like style the edges and it's also how I kind of melt the lace at the same time because this is a glueless wig you don't have to bond her down but you want the lace to look melted in your skin and not like it's sitting on top so I use the mousse with an elastic band and this kind of gets the job done again while working on those edges now here I just went ahead and just combed the hair out. I wanted to see what it would look like as an afro. I love versatility with curly wigs. Sometimes you feel like it's just one look, but you can definitely get multiple looks. This is what she looks like, you know, combed out. I'm going to take my mousse and define her super nice. Again, you can do many different things with your wigs. Don't feel like you have to have one look. Regardless of whatever it is, whatever texture, whatever length, you can definitely have versatility. So for today, I'm going to just use my mousse and my fingers to go in and define the curls. So typically, I would use that dimming brush, but again, I didn't really want the wet, super defined dimming brush look. I wanted the like mixed texture hair type of like imperfect curls that weren't too wet but also weren't too kinky dry um this is something that i don't do that often on this channel either they're super defined and curly or they're diffused but this was something a little bit like i said in the middle and all I'm doing is I applied a good amount of the mousse to the hair and then I would also add additional amount of mousse to my fingertips and just grab a nice piece of hair and twist it. I wanted it to dry this way and honestly I was going to diffuse it this way. But again I like to do my hair tutorials at indecent hours so that when I wake up in the morning my hair is already done. And so this is one of those things where it was just too late to use a diffuser. So you'll see how I used a fan yes this has cool air and it definitely didn't do the trick but i tried <laughs> i was kind of wasting my time but you guys can see the hairline has had time to dry and melt so i'm just taking a little bit of edge control that i place on the back of my hand to just start to swoop the baby hair now when I did soap it, I did decide it was a little bit too full. So I did just kind of like, you can see, I'm kind of like brushing some of the hairs back into the rest of the wig. And they go back into the hair like nothing ever happened, which gives the illusion that the hairline or the baby hair is a little bit thinner than what it is. I love the way that it came out. Now I want to just pull the curls that I kind of like twisted together apart. And this is going to give a more bigger look. And again, it's not too wet, not too dry, but also not too frizzy. It's a perfect perfect happy medium also I wanted to mention that this one comes in lengths 12 inches as well as 14 I'm rocking a 12 inch and as you guys can see it's the perfect length on me not too long and it just gives a really really big nice oomph I'm shaking the hair out because sometimes that helps you to like 
it helps the curls to fall in place. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it definitely does. Here I'm going in with an electric hot comb and I'm just using the back of it mainly to just kind of like press the ends or the hairline and the parting out. I don't want it to be too flat, but I wanted it to just be a little bit looking like it's coming out of the scalp. Now we're going to go in and tint the lace using a foundation uh, cream in the parting as well as a powder in the hairline. Now let's go ahead and look at the packaging. This is the packaging for uh, Love Me Hair. And then these are the wig caps, nice and chocolate like me, as well as the mesh bag they provided. And they also gave me a wig grip, which is a great option, especially when you're rocking your wig glueless. Here, this was a little bit later. I think this was like hours and hours later. And I just wanted to show you guys how the hair dried. It looked absolutely gorgeous. And again, not too wet. It was the perfect look. I think the 14 will definitely look amazing as well. Also, I want to show you that it was still 100% glueless but this is it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check the description box for more details on the wig also be sure to subscribe like this video and share with your friends tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel a vlog is coming sunday so make sure that you are subscribed for that and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches